I just dropped my kid to school and uh, I thought I'd smelled, um, you know, the old tide in the air, but I think I'm wrong. I'm pretty far from the shore right now, but 2018, I could smell it all the way back here in my neighborhood. It was awful. So it wouldn't surprise me too much. That said, um, I thought I was done with these red tide updates. I thought we were just kind of the spot where it was going to do what it was going to do, where it is, and then be gone at some point, hopefully. Um, but there's been a lot of news about it lately um, regarding being offshore. It's getting smaller, uh, but our inter intracoastal is getting worse, which is very strange. You haven't seen much reports on that. So I'm going to go check out some areas around there uh, to see what's up. Well, I stopped by Vema on my way down to Blackburn. Might as well get as much of this coastal as we can and it looks okay not smelling anything um from what i've heard it was dry man's it's called dry man's bay and um blackburn point itself it was pretty gnarly a few days ago uh so we'll check there i'm gonna walk around that spot about here real fast so we can get a better view oops breaking the law breaking the law <sighs> Sketchy walk, that's why they got it marked off. All right, I don't see any floaters out here, so that's a good sign. Um, don't see any life either, though. There's usually, I used to I come here to net bait a lot. Uh, this is like, this is so sketchy. Um, water's pretty murky. It's hard to tell if there's anything swimming around down there. Nice just to see some bait pods on top though. There's one over there. Oh, and right there. Okay, there's some life swimming around. That's good. Good, good. So Vema seems all right. Should have brought my cast net to throw out just to see. Ooh, something slammed the top right there. Should have brought my top water. That was not a mullet. Good to know. Um, all right, let's go check out Blackbird. I'm starting out here at the mini bridge. Um, swing bridge over there. Mini bridge to Casey Key. See how it looks. Back in the deep here. Um, I think I see a floater over there. Maybe just one. Smell. <clears throat> I can't. There's definitely a hint of, of something off. Can't tell if it's death or if it's red tide. There's something I'm smelling. Yeah, that's definitely one little floater right there. Let's see what it is. It's like a little white bait or pin, maybe. Oh no, no, it's a little puffer, isn't it? Yeah, a little puffer right there, dead. Um, sucks to see. There's definitely death here, uh, but I'm not seeing a ton right now, which is good. Um, I heard it was an absolute wasteland out here just like three days ago or four days ago. So I'm glad not to see that. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm just so confused how it even got bad back here. I'm wondering if maybe we washed it from the jetties. I know the tide's flowing out right now, so that's probably pulling um, a lot of carcasses south for our bunch. But again, right now, all I see is this one puffer over here. He's made his way under the bridge now. Where is he? So. Let's go check the swing bridge. Head down to the floating dock here real fast. Swing bridge. Oh God, there's dead one. That's it. Oh man, that's gross. Really big dead bullet here left with the outgoing tide. Other dead shit over there. Oh, that's gross. That's too bad. So back here where the water's not flowing as much as uh, over by the bridge. Some shit's dead stuck. Oh, yeah, there's some, looks like some dead stuff up there on the mangroves. Yep. That's a, that's a big fish. Hmm, that is most unfortunate. Oh wow, there's a dead, 
Oh, I got more. More stuck up in there. Ah, oh, that sucks. Blackbird is like, it's just one of those places that's so nice to have. Lots of areas to park and fish and walk to the shore. Tucked in the mangroves, there's always nice reds and stuff back here. I hate to see that. I really did think this would be the last place to get touched, the most protected area tucked deep back here. But now that seems to be uh, South Siesta Bridge. I haven't noticed any death there. I was fishing there last night, actually a lot of life. Um, oh my gosh, it's so gross. Oh, you can see lots of little dead baits in the mixing with this nasty shit. Bummer, man. Fuck. Well, that's all I really need to see down here, so I'm gonna, um, I'm not even gonna stop by the swing bridge. That's, that, uh, there's death there. I can smell the red tide, taste it in my throat a little bit, so. It's definitely been at Blackburn doing some damage. Um, killed some fish. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that will end soon. I'm looking out over the water now as I cross the swing bridge and I, I see some specks in the water. So there's definitely some dead stuff floating around down there. Not a ton though. Doesn't matter. I, we found it all tucked back in the mangroves there. Um, I'm not gonna go by the South Bridge right now either, but I was, like I said, I was fishing there last night for about an hour and a half. A lot of uh, life pounding the top water plug I was throwing. Um, didn't land anything, but it was nice to see. I saw a couple of really big tarpon swimming around over there um, and uh, no dead fish. So it, that spot seems to still be a safe haven. Um, like we saw in that video I made a couple videos ago, maybe uh, there was hundreds of reds and stooks there in the morning time all piled together like I've never seen before so that spot seems to be I don't know anyway that's uh that's the update the fishing in the bay up north has been really good up towards Bradenton and Manatee County there's been some really good fishing up there no signs of red tide um I took my boat from 10th street ramp to Phillippe Creek over the weekend and I saw a ton of big pods of bait in the water. Um, hooked up with a nice snook in the creek. Didn't see any red tide on that little trip, um, but I did feel it a little bit when we were passing big, going near a big pass on the way down. I, I could tell there was something coming in from over there. Um, so there was some good news yesterday. A satellite image showed that the hundred square mile patch of red tide off our shores right now i think it says about 15 miles out is much smaller it's, it's shrinking um but i think it was last week it was 100 square miles just offshore um but the storm heading to mexico right now is pushing it they said and then a satellite image yesterday from a week later looked a lot better uh so Check out the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program's website and their Facebook pages where they post those updates. Um, so. I still I, I still feel like things are getting better. Um, I hear the jetties are still rough down south, so I haven't made my way to Venice in a while. I'll probably let that sit for a bit. Just keep going north. So. Happy Friday.